All right, so this is part two of the Venn diagrams with two sets. Um, you check out the first video. It just goes over the basic ones, the intersection, union, and complement. Uh, that's this video. It's already filled out because I just did it. But you might want to look at those um, because if you understand these three, it makes it a lot easier to do this, what we're fixing to do. And I'll have a link to the a link in the description to the first part. And I will also have a, a video where we have three sets. We have an A, B, and C. So you might want to check that out also. All right, so let's look at this. We want to sketch the Venn diagram and use shading to show each, each set. So let's look at number four. All right, so let's draw our circles. We've got set A and set B. So we've got A union, the complement of B. So what I like to do, if you watch the first video, is I like to just shade in each set. So let's shade in A. So we'll shade in A with horizontal lines. Oop, let me use a different color. So there's A. All right. So there's a, let's see. All right, so that's shaded in A. Now let's shade in B complement. So remember, B complement, that's everything outside of B. So we'll shade that in using vertical lines. So B complement is everything outside of B. Okay, so there's B complement. Now, we've got the union. So remember, the union is everything in this set plus everything in this set combined into one set. So the union, what would be shaded? Well, everywhere there's a line because it's everything that's in both sets into one set. And so the only thing that would not get shaded is this part right here. Now you can go ahead and you can you can shade this solid. Or another thing that you can do when you when you draw these is you can come here and do this. Draw the two sets again. And we know it's everywhere there's a line. So everything that gets shaded is everything but see this part right here. This part right here does not get shaded. So you can just come in here and you can just draw it again and then just quickly shade in what's supposed to be shaded and then don't shade what's not supposed to be shaded. And so you can do that. Or you can come in here and shade this in solid. Okay, It's, it's up to you. All right, But there's your final answer there. All right, so now let's take a look at the next one. All right, so we got A complement intersect B complement. So let's draw our box. And so there's set A, there's set B, there's A, there's B. All right, so let's shade in the complement of A. And we'll shade that in with horizontal lines. So the complement of A is going to be everything outside of A. Okay, So there's the complement of A. Now we need, need to shade in the complement of B. So we'll do that with vertical lines. So that's everything outside of B. Okay. So there you go. Now we need the intersection of these two sets. Well, what's the intersection? Well, that's where the lines cross. OK, 
okay so it looks like everything's going to be shaded except for inside here because see the lines don't cross in here they don't cross in here and there's not any lines in here the only place the lines cross is outside so th this would be an, a good example to where you might want to come and draw this again draw a draw b Okay. because you know if you shade this then you'll have to come back and erase that so I would just something like this on the intersection where the lines cross I would just come in here and just, just shade everything outside and of course you can do a better job with the pencil shade than this it doesn't shade very good on a computer screen so but this is this would be your final answer okay this would be your solution right here. Everything outside of both sets, that's where they intersect. All right, so let's take a look at the last problem. All right. All right, so let's see what we've got. So we've got two sets. We've got A, B. All right, so here, we want to do what's inside the parentheses first. Okay. So let's get this first. Well, obviously, this one's easy. That's just where they intersect here. Okay. That's where they overlap. But let's let's work it out because this part inside the parentheses may not be this easy where you can just see it every time. So let's let's do it step by step, drawing the lines. All right. So here we've got set A okay. and I know this takes a little a little more time to do but you're less likely to mess up alright now let's do set B we'll do that with vertical lines okay. alright so we want the intersection so the intersection of the two is where the lines cross okay so this would be shading, shaded in but remember we gotta do union a complement so what I'll do is come over here and we will draw another one just take it step by step and you won't met and you're less likely to mess up so in the parentheses here I need a intersect B which is this part here where they overlap so what we'll do there is we'll fill that in with horizontal lines okay. and then we need what we want to do this or this union a complement well what's a complement well that's everything outside of a okay so there's a complement this is A intersect B, this part, union A complement. So remember what union is. Union is everywhere there's a line. It's everything from this plus everything in this combined into one set. So we'll come in here and draw a third one. And so what gets shaded? Well, everything but this part. See, remember, see, union is everywhere there's a line. So that's everywhere but here. So what gets shaded would be all of this. And remember, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got a video on doing three sets, so you may want to check that one out too. And I'll do it similar to the way I did this one. Okay, you just break it down step by step and you're not and you're less likely to make a mistake. And so that would be this. All of this out here is shaded, everything but this part. So I hope that helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.